Today with Claire Byrne on RTE Radio 1 with Opel. German engineering that's future ready and simply electric. Brian, thank you very much. Sinn Féin has been criticised for holding different positions in the North and the South and somewhat bizarrely it was the issue of fox hunting that brought this up again recently but it's an issue that has been raised for some time in relation to various topics and in a moment we'll debate this with Sinn Féin's Matt Carthy and Fine Gael's Peter Burke but first to explain the background here I'm joined in the studio by Aoife Moore, political correspondent with the Irish Examiner. You're very welcome Aoife. First of all, tell us about the fox hunting. What happened? Yeah, so this was a debate that they had last week in the Stormont Assembly. It was brought by the Alliance Party and the bill would have sought to ban um, fox hunting in the north. Um, it's the last jurisdiction in the UK where it hasn't been banned and it was eventually killed off, uh, pardon the pun, the bill was eventually killed off because uh, Sinn Féin, the DUP, some of the DUP and some of the UUP um, voted against it. Now Sinn Féin said their agriculture spokesperson said that they had issues with some uh, the language in the bill, there were some complications with the bill. They also then said that uh, there was enough going on in the assembly, they didn't have time to study it properly, and that was bad. Now, in their defence, the SDLP also said that they had some issues with the mm-hmm. bill, but they still didn't vote against it, and the bill eventually uh, died. Now, this stands in direct contrast with what Mary Lou Macdonald has previously said. The Sinn Féin president said that they would seek um, to ban fox hunting. However, the Sinn Féin spokesperson in the North, McAleer, has said the party are not opposed to a full ban on hunting. Yeah, he, he said there was a strong lobby that considered hunting with dogs to be an important economic and recreational outlet, particularly in rural communities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the way it looks to me, um, nothing the Sinn Féin does is by accident. You know, there's meetings about meetings within Sinn Féin about policy. So what it looks to me is, you know, their Sinn Féin have a really big um, constituency in rural Northern Ireland where caution and all our activities like that do take place and I think they are I think they were hoping that uh, the ignorance that Southerners have about Northern politics and the ignorance that Northerners have about Southern politics was what was going to ring true here but I think the further the more popular Sinn Féin get they must know that walking this kind of tight rope having different policies in different jurisdictions they're going to get caught on it. Let's uh, get to the pure politics now because I'm joined, as I said, by Matt Carthy, Sinn Féin TD uh, for Cavan and Monaghan and party spokesperson on agriculture. Peter Burke, Fine Gael TD for Longford Westmeath and Minister of State in the Department of Housing are uh, both with us now. You're very welcome. Thanks for being here. Matt Carthy, the fox hunting uh, first up. Colm Eastwood, the SDLP leader, saying Sinn Féin are against fox hunting in the south and for it in the north. Right, he said. What happens if a fox runs across the border? So there's a couple of things I want to just say. First of all, I represent Cavan Monaghan. We rep- my constituency um, straddles three of the six northern counties. I can tell you, because I interact with them, there is no difference between Sinn Féin voters on either side of the border in terms of their um, life ambitions and in terms of the issues that, uh, that affect them. Um, there have been over a long period of time attempts to try and manipulate the very peculiar political um, setup in the north that Aoife has alluded to in terms of the fact that we're in a compulsory power sharing mm-hmm. arrangement with um, with four other political but parties. But no one's Some telling Sinn Féin what to do when it no. comes to fox hunting. In terms of example. all of our policies, um, our policy um, position is decided in the most open and transparent way of any political party in the, in the island of Ireland. There is no other political party mm-hmm. in which the members collectively, including the elected representative and leadership, set political pol- and policies. And I find yeah. it often so ironic when I hear the likes of Fine Gael representatives who changed their policies at the behest well, of we'll hear their, from Fine Gael um, in a minute, their leadership the figures. On a policy on fox hunting. If the same bill that was before the Assembly last week came before the Dáil, Sinn Féin would vote against it on the, for the exact same for the exact same reasons. Um, it was a bad bill for a start. It um, would have been a barrister's dream, to put it mildly, because there were that many caveats. It wasn't a fox hunting bill. It was a hunt and um, a, um, a hunting ban mm-hmm. um, across the across the board, and it fell outside of um, the Sinn Féin policy position. We oppose unnecessary infliction of cruelty to animals. Um, But we also recognise that bans in these instances don't work. That what we need to do is work with um, rural communities in particular to ensure that we have regulations in place and enforce that... uh, So Declan McAleer was right when he said the party does not agree with the ban on hunting. 
That's Sinn Féin's position, yes. Okay, and there is a strong lobby, you agree with this, that considers hunting with dogs to be an important economic and recreational outlet. There is, and with all of these matters, there are different views within our party. They're not north-south views. There are views that are, that different people ha- um, hold because of their own um, personal position. So there are some within our party. But if you would disagree absolutely... with unnecessary suffering to animals, how can hunting with dogs be okay? Because there are different reasons for hunting with dogs, including, um, in, in, including protection of biodiversity, diversity, including other animal welfare issues, because um, hunting does form a fabric in terms of pest control. Some of and the all prey the don't, rest. don't mind it. It doesn't cause them suffering. I you know, it's necessary. Strange. Yeah, no, it is. It's, it's a, a strange It's a, thing it's to a difficult say. one. And as somebody who has never been at a fox hunt in my life and who don't, doesn't fully understand the concept of it, um, I understand that you don't ban something simply because you don't understand it either. Um, so as with all of these matters, and I think this is important to say, that there are people within our party that hold different views to what our party position is. And that's precisely why we bring these matters before an Irish and um, we trash them out and um, we have a debate and the membership vote on them. And then when we do vote on them, um, we are all bound by those decisions and they can be re- um, reviewed and reflected upon at um, Ardesh. And that's what happens mm-hmm. on a consistent basis.